Are you sick of meat that's dry and flavourless? I'm Greg from Premiala and today I'm going to introduce you to a chef's secret weapon, the Premiala Meat Injector. So why is it that no matter what cut of meat you buy or how long you marinate it for, you just can't seem to get that same juicy all the way through fall off the bone type of meat that you get in some great restaurants. It's not like you don't know how to choose a good cut of meat. The missing ingredient is in the preparation. Most people think they'll get a juicy roast just by marinating it in marinade for hours. But that only soaks in about an inch below the surface. You need to have that juice and that flavour inside the meat. And the best way to achieve that is with the Premiala Meat Injector. And just so we're clear, this product's also called a marinade injector, turkey injector, Cajun injector, turkey syringe, lots of other names, it's all talking about the same product. So when you get your meat injector, the first thing to do is to open the box and read through the first use directions on the lid. So all this information here. This will help you avoid some of the common mistakes with meat injecting. Next, make sure you download your ebook. This explains exactly how and why marinating works and this is going to be a great help when you come to develop your own marinades. Plus, it includes a magic formula for creating a successful marinade. It then explains how to blend solid and liquid ingredients, how to fill your injector, how to inject the marinade and how long to let the marinade rest in the meat before you cook it. Finally, there are clean-up directions and a number of marinade recipes to help get you started. Before we start, I want to talk a little bit about stainless steel and food safety. At the time of shooting this video, the Premiala injector is the only injector on the market which uses food safe 304 grade stainless steel for all food facing components. And what we mean by that is that every metal component which touches the food is constructed from 304 grade stainless steel. And this is a product which is approved by the FDA as being safe to use in contact with food. So these are all the components you get in your Premiala meat injector. The fingerings portion at the very top is a chrome plated cast alloy and everyone else does the same thing as this. At this point in time it's simply not practical to cast this from stainless steel and as it never comes into contact with the food this doesn't cause a problem. So the fingerings portion are joined to a 3 or 4 grade stainless steel shaft and a 3 or 4 grade stainless steel plunger. On other injectors we often found this part here was aluminium or chrome plated brass because it tends to get ignored inside the barrel even though it does actually still come into contact with your food and that's why we use stainless steel for that. And around the plunger is a food safe silicon o-ring which creates a pressure tight seal around the plunger. These last for about 12 months of use typically and we give you two spares with your injector. We also sell spares in case you run out. The plunger assembly is screwed into the barrel which is again is from 304 grade stainless steel. On the end of the barrel is the barrel nosing into which the needle thread screw and again you've got 304 grade stainless steel for both these components here. And these are another couple of parts which often get shortcut on some, some injectors either chrome plated aluminium or brass and you may not notice it until you get some knocks and some dings on these and then they go through the dishwasher. And finally the needles themselves. The three needles we supply all from 304 grade stainless steel. So as I said, there's three needles here. The first one is the 12 hole needle. And this is about 6 inches or 15 centimetres long and around about 5 millimetres in diameter. It's got a very sharp point on the end. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got a very sharp point on the end. This is designed for injecting pure liquids such as brine or sauces and it will distribute the marinade very evenly throughout the meat. We've used slightly larger holes in this needle than some other people to just make sure you get a slightly better flow and reduce clogging, just in case you do use a marinade which contains some small particles. The open-ended needle is the one which I use most frequently because I like adding finely blended solids such as garlic, onion and other herbs into my marinades. Finely blended is the key here because they have to be small enough to go through the end of that needle. Okay? So it will certainly take things like minced onion, garlic, herbs, spices, those sort of things, but you must make sure they're chopped up finely. And in another video, we'll show you how to make sure you can do that. And finally, steak needle. This is about three inches or eight centimetres long, and it's just three millimetres in diameter. So it's perfect for injecting into thin cuts of meat, which won't take one of the thicker needles. It's got two holes in the end, and they're both right at the tip of the needle. Um, and that means the marinade gets spread evenly on both the sides, 
and as you draw the needle out of the meat, it keeps injecting marinade right up to the edge. Now obviously, with the size of the holes you've got here, this is only designed for liquid marinade. And on the end of each of these needles is a silicon o-ring. And again, we provide spare parts of these as well. These help to create a pressure tight seal when they screw onto the barrel of the injector. So now you know what you get, how do you put it all together? Well, if you remember one thing from this video, the most important thing to do is to make sure that you put oil around the o-ring before you use the injector. The o-ring is a very tight fit inside the barrel and if you don't oil that, it will be very hard to push and you will get frustrated. So above all, remember to oil the o-ring. If you don't oil the o-ring, it's very difficult to get it in. It's a very tight fit and when you try to pull it out, it's quite hard to move. So what we recommend then is instead of having all that difficulty, just get a small amount of oil, olive oil or something similar, and then you can either just dip your finger in the oil and smear it around the o-ring, or you can dip the whole o-ring in there and smear that around. And once you've done that, it slides in so much easier. See? That's how it goes if you've got the oil on there. So you then simply screw the screw the, uh, the cap onto the barrel, decide which needle you're going to use depending on what type of uh, injecting you're going to be doing, and then that then just simply screws on to the end of the injector. And then once you've got it to this point here, you're ready to start using it. You then draw up your marinade into the injector, we'll show you how to do this in a different video, and then inject into the meat. It's that simple. Cleaning is simple. Just unscrew all the components and put them in the dishwasher. We do however recommend that you wash the plunger assembly by hand and that you remove the silicon o-rings from the end of the needles before you put those in the dishwasher just so they don't end up down in the bottom of the dishwasher. Finally, if you ever need to change the o-ring, it's just a simple matter of giving it a pinch and then sliding it off and then you can pop the new one on and they obviously go on the same way as they come off. So that's it. That's an overview of the Premiala meat injector. We hope you found this useful. If you want to know more information about the injector, just head over to our website, premiala.com, or if you're ready to buy, head straight to Amazon and look forward to a new level of flavour.